Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we'll take a detailed look at how to create a new post in Blogger. So let's get started. Here I have logged into my Blogger account and to create a new post, you just have to click on the new post button. Once you click on new post, you get this screen over here and this is where you create a new post in Blogger. So the first thing over here is the post title. So here we can uh, type the title of our post. And then here we have the buttons like publish to publish this post to our blog. And then we have save to save it as a draft. And then we have preview to see how it looks. And uh, then we can close it. And now we'll take a look at what all these things can do for us. So let's go to lipsum.com and uh, we'll just grab some text over here. So we'll just generate some lower map some text. And uh, we'll just copy this from here and uh, we'll paste it over here. All right, so now we have some content to work with. Now the first option that we have over here is HTML. If you know some HTML, then you can uh, switch to HTML and uh, type your HTML over here. Or if you just want to see how this HTML looks, then you can go to HTML. And this is the HTML of what we have right now. So if you go ahead and uh, if we type a new HTML tag like heading, heading 1. And now if you go to compose, we can see heading 1 is right here. So in this way, we can type HTML as well in our blog post. And next we have this button called undo. So if you accidentally make any changes to your post, then you can go back to the previous state by clicking the undo button. And the redo button is to go forward one step. So here we can see undo and redo. These are common things in all the applications. So you may know about that. And then we have this option of choosing the font. So let's select everything by pressing Ctrl A. And then we can go ahead and select a font that we want. So let's select Georgia. And here we can see the font has changed. And then we have the option of changing the font size. So if we just go ahead and select a part of this. And let's say we want to increase the font size of this. Then we can go ahead and choose from smallest, small, normal, large and largest. So let's choose normal. And here we can see the font size has changed. And then we have the option of creating a heading, a subheading and a minor heading. So this thing right here is an H1. But when we publish our post, the title of our post will be an H1 and the main headings inside our post will be H2. So let's change this to a heading. And if you go to the HTML right now, we can see this is an H2. So all the main headings in our post will be H2. And if you want another heading, then uh, we can go ahead and select subheading. So this will create an S3. So if you go to the HTML right here, we can see the S3. This is the S3 that we created. So this is the subheading. And in the same way, we can also create a minor heading. So these are the three different types of headings you can use in your post. And the normal is the paragraphs that we have over here. Alright, so that's all with the headings and the paragraphs. Then we have the option of uh, making the text bold, italic or underline. So it just works like all the other word processing applications. So let's go ahead and select this and let's make it bold. And uh, let's select this and uh, let's make it italic. And uh, let's select some text over here and make it underline. You may not be able to see this uh, because of this red underline. So this is because uh, of the spell checker that we have over here. So it is checking the spellings. And because this is just a uh, dummy text, it has uh, these underlines over here. Alright, so the next thing is the strike through. So if you select some text over here and uh, click on strike through. So we have this line over the text. So this is called strike through. And then we have the option of changing the text color. So let's go ahead and change the color of our uh, heading. So here are the different options we can choose. So let's choose red. And the color of our text has changed to red. 
and then here we have the option of changing the text background color so let's go ahead and uh, select this text and uh, let's change the background color so we'll change this to this uh, light blue color over here and here we can see the background color of our text has changed the next option we have over here is link so if you go ahead and uh, type something like go to Google and if you want the visitor to click on Google and go to google.com then you can change this into a link so let's select this and click on link and then here we can type the URL so let's type HTTPS google.com and click on OK now this has changed to a link so whenever the visitor clicks on uh, Google he'll be redirected to the google.com website alright next we have the option of adding an image so let's add an image after this paragraph so here we have different options of adding the image we can choose from our computer and then you can choose from this blog so if you have any images in this blog then it will be displayed over here then you can choose from the Google albums archive and you can also choose from your phone so if you have auto backup set up on your phone then it will be displayed over here then you can insert from your webcam and at last we have the option of inserting an image from a URL so let's choose this and type a URL over here so let's grab a link for our image from unsplash.com unsplash has a lot of free quality images so let's type technology over here and I will just open this and we'll just right click over here and click on copy image address and we'll paste it right here so here we can see the image so let's go ahead and click on add selected and we have this image right here we can go ahead and make some changes over here as well so if you click on that we have the option of choosing small size large x large and even the original size so let's go ahead and choose large and then we also have the option of aligning it to left right or uh, center and then we also have this option of adding a caption so let's click on that and here we can type something and then we have some properties over here so if you click on properties we have the title text and the alt text so let's type technology laptop over here and in alt text we will type laptop so let's click ok and if you hover over this image we can see the title text displayed over here and if the image didn't load on uh, the visitors computer then the alt text will be displayed instead alright so that's all with the image now let's go ahead and move to the next option next we have the option of adding a video so let's click on that and here you can drag and drop your video right here or you can get video from YouTube or if you have any YouTube videos then you can get YouTube videos from here so let's go ahead and add a video from YouTube so we'll just search for live blogger SEO myths and uh, we'll select this and uh, we'll click on select and here we can see the video has been added we cannot play it right here because uh, we are in uh, the editor once we publish this post we can uh, play the video right on our page next we have the option of adding special characters to our post so let's go ahead and uh, after the heading we will add some special characters over here so let's click on the icon and uh, here we have a list of all the special characters we have we can even search for something over here like arrow and we can see all the arrows if you search for a triangle we can see all the triangles so let's go ahead and add some of these so this is how we add uh, special characters to our post and then we have the option of insert jump break so I'll show you this in just a minute but before that let's go ahead and take a look at these options so here we have the option of alignment so if we go ahead and uh, select this text and uh, we can align it to the left and then we can align it to the center to the right and we can even align it justified alright so that's it with the alignment and then we can create lists 
like numbered lists and bullet lists. So let's go ahead and create a list over here. To create a numbered list, all you have to do is click on this button over here. And it starts by typing number one for you. And then you can go ahead and type in your list. List item one. Then if you press enter, we can see the next number appears. And in this way, we can create numbered lists. And if you want to get out of the list, then all you have to do is press enter twice and you'll get out of the list. Next, we have the option of adding a bullet list. So let's click on this button and uh, let's type something over here. And now if you want to create a sub item, all you have to do is press enter and then press tab and you can create a sub item over here. And you can also create more sub items over here. And to go back one level, just press enter twice and twice. And at last we get out of the list. All right, so that's it with the numbered and bullet lists. And then we have the option of uh, making a text a quote. So let's go ahead and select part of this text and we'll make it a quote. So let's, so let's select this and uh, we'll click on quote. Now this has changed to a quote and how to display it on your post will depend on the theme you have right now. So depending on the theme, you will have different looks of this quote. And then we have the option of removing the formatting. So if you have some color or underline or any of these formattings applied to the text, we can go ahead and remove them by clicking on remove formatting. So we can see that it has changed to a normal text. So let's go ahead and undo that. And then we have the option of checking the spelling. So let's click on that. And it highlights all the words that have the wrong spelling. All right, let's click on that again. And then we have the option of typing in different languages. So let's go ahead and uh, let's select this and uh, select Hindi. And uh, if you type something over here like live blogger and let's remove the strike through and here we can see live blogger in Hindi. So in this way we can select different languages over here. All right, then we have these two options for the direction of the text. So if you go ahead and uh, select some text and uh, if you click on right to left, we can see that the direction of the text has changed. So if you type something over here, the cursor is here on the left of our text, but uh, when we type something, it is being typed on the right. So that's what happens when we change the direction of the text from right to left. All right, so now let's take a look at what is a jump break. So for that, first of all, let's publish our post and let's view our blog. Now here we can see our blog and here are all our posts. Now we can see that on the home page, it shows a part of our post. So in the second post, we can see that it starts from lorem ipsum and it goes till here and then it says read more. Now we can control how much of the post should be shown on the home page. So for that we can use a jump break. So what we'll do is uh, we'll just display uh, a little bit of this, maybe two sentences and uh, then we will add a jump break. So only two sentences will be shown over here on the home page and then it will say read more. So let's go to our dashboard and let's edit the second post. And after the second sentence over here, we will add a jump break. So let's bring our cursor over here and uh, let's click on insert jump break. And here we can see the jump break has been added. Now let's go ahead and update our post. Now let's refresh our website. And now here we can see in the second post, we have only two sentences over here and then it says read more. So that is what we use a jump break for. So let's go to our post and let's click on edit. And let's take a look at what are these options over here. So the first one is labels. So here we can add some words about um, our blog post. So if our post is about SEO, then we can type SEO over here. And we can even add multiple labels separated by commas. So we can type SEO tips over here. 
and this data will be used by Google to rank your post and the search engines will be able to understand what your post is all about. Alright, after typing in all your labels, just click on done. And then here we can set different publish dates for our post. And then here we can see the permalink of our post. So if someone visits this link over here, then our post will be displayed to him. So here we can see the post. Alright, next we have the option of adding a location. So here we can go ahead and select the location and you can even search for your location and then click on done. And then here we have different options like we can allow the comments or we can set it to don't allow and show the existing comments or we can even set it to don't allow and hide the existing comments. And then we have two different options over here. The default one is show HTML literally. So if you go to our post over here and if we type some HTML, for example, if you say HR, which will display a horizontal line on the screen. So if you go ahead and preview this post, we can see that the HR is literally shown on the screen as it is. If you want to execute this line of code, then you have to set it to interpret typed HTML and then click on done. Now if you click on preview, we can see that the HR tag is not literally shown over here now and instead we have the code being executed. And then we have two more options over here. So if you select this option, you can use the BR tag for a line break or you can also use the second option where if you press enter, it will add a line break. Alright, so these are basically all the options you have when creating a new post in Blogger. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and uh, click on the like button if you found this video useful. Also subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.